Hello again, this is Valkas with the fifth part of the tutorial about managing your data transfer cartridge. The fifth part will we'll talk about the EWS settings, but before we go to the tab, let me tell you that all the following tabs, all the data that is in the following tabs is stored only in your callsign.ini. That means that this data is used during campaign and also tactile engagement flights and every time you load the data transfer cartridge in the cockpit this data will appear in the mission computer. Going to the EWS tab you will see that we're looking at the callsign.ini and of course in my case that's the falcos.ini. We'll find uh, six different programs that we can uh, make our settings of course we have a control panel for some extra settings that are related to the EWS and we have a backup preferences button like the lines in pre-planned threads but first let me clear all the values by using the clear button and of course you can imagine if you use this setting and save the data transfer cartridge and you like to drop a program in the cockpit none of the chaps and flares will be dropped. I'll do this to show you how easily it is uh, to get the most common default program set up as you might have been using throughout the years. With the installation of Weapon Delivery Planner I already give you some preloaded uh, files for all the other tabs as well. You can load them to easily get the uh, pretty default setup use the load button and you already see the file ews.ews just open it up and you'll see that uh, all the programs got a pretty default loadout for program 1 for example you see only chefs have been programmed and no flares program 2 has a combination of chef and flares program 3 again slightly different but chefs only and program 4 again a combination Program 5, flares only. Program 5 is also connected directly to the slap switch, which is a button just above the throttle in the left hand wall of the cockpit. It's also called a panic button. And program 6 is also only a flare program. You see that after making changes in this tab, your DTC light is becoming red because we made some changes and did not save it. I will save the DTC in the end when we're completely done. So just make sure that you have a look here at the light before you leave Weapon Delivery Planner that your DTC has been saved. Before I show you how to create your own programs and uh, store them, I would explain you what you can do with the control panel. In the control panel you have uh, a couple of options like uh, require jam, require control, feedback and bingo. Those are four settings that your CMDS panel will use and it actually lets the CMDS panel do automatic functions if it's uh, in the semi or auto position. It says that uh, your CMDS can control your jammer and it uh, requires the control also for your chefs and flare. Um, it allows you to give your CMDS panel a feedback. So it calls out chef flare. It um, can also set a bingo so you hear that there is a chef and flare low. And you just insert here the amount of chefs and flare that you want when the bingo call for your chef and flare is done. One extra option, and it's blanked out by default, is the switches on the CMDS panel. As these are actually switches in the cockpit, and of course they are not programmed by the data transfer cartridge. They are default set to off, but if you want, they are inside the DTC in Falcon. You can preset them, so once you're in the cockpit, they are always set to the same mode and program. If you switch them on they become available 
and here you just can set uh, for the main switch the mode switch uh, if the switch is in the off position standby manual semi auto or bypass position and just as an example I will switch it to manual and the other switch is of course your program switch and you can select it to go to program 1 2 3 and I'll just use as an example program 2 this means that if you get in the cockpit and you load your data transfer cartridge those switches are set to whatever you insert here so be careful what you program there and what you use little word about programming your Jeff and Flare programs uh, this looks very complicated but actually it is quite simple as an example I will add a Flare program to the program one the first thing is a burst quantity and the burst quantity actually says how many flares I want to drop and as a example I will insert that I will want to drop three flares so I inserted three here and go to the next part this is the burst interval the burst interval is the, tw the time between the flares in this case the three flares that I inserted here and let's take a number I'll take half a second if we leave it at this and I run program one there will be three flares dropped with a half second delay between them and then the program is stopped but you can do a couple of sequences to the flares and for that is the sequence quantity as an example those three flare bundles I want to drop four times then I insert a sequence quantity of four and the interval between the sequences I'll just put at a second these numbers are all just examples to show you what it does so what we have now here is three flares dropped with an interval of five seconds a sequence quantity of four with a difference a sequence interval of one second if you run program one it will immediately drop three flares with a half a second interval then it waits a second and it runs the three flares again with a half second interval then you get another pause for one second and then it runs again and it does this four times because we have a sequence quantity of one with this you can make your own combinations how you like them and come up with your own IDs if you want to store these IDs and these programs you can make your own file depending on the kind of mission you want to do you might want to have a different program setup if you're doing a low level attack or a high level attack depending on what you want to do or you want to be saving chefs and flare or dumping them all at once so let's store them then we can use them later just go to the backup preferences and you see the file here never overwrite files that come with the installation of weapon delivery planner because they are the defaults so as you can see here the ews.ews comes with the Falcon the weapon delivery planner installation so I'll just rename them and I'll give them a name test EWS and I'll store them and now I have my own chef flare program that I can quickly load whenever I like I'll show you that it works by clearing everything quickly go to the load button there I find my test EWS, EWS. I'll open it up and you'll see here that our flare part has come up again as we programmed it before if we want to quickly switch to a different program just load it up and now I want to have the defaults again on open and you see I'll have the default settings again If you're all finished, just save the DTC as you might have seen already every 
tab has its own save DTC file so you don't have to go to the main page and in this case only the falcons.ini got saved.